It's round two, baby. Season two coming up. Hello, I'm back, people. This is Asha Media TV. My name is Asha. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is where I like to watch and react and review a variety of stuff related to sci-fi, fantasy, and comic books. So, in today's video, I am finally now going to press play on episode one of the second season of Supernatural. But before I go any further, for you newbies, don't skip ahead. Listen up, I got a few things I want to cover with you real quick. Number one, just in case you missed it, this is a spoilers reaction and spoiler review. So, spoilers ahead, you have been warned. And number two, just in case you've come across my older videos where there was footage and clips shown of the episode, unfortunately, I no longer upload those kinds of reactions here on YouTube. Instead, I offer a watch along process. So you get access to the episode on your end. I have mine gone. We sync up together using my visual and vocal cues and we watch the episode together. However, I do offer an alternate version, more of a stress-free version of my reaction with bonus content and early access. So if you want more info about that, check out the details in the description box below. All right, so I've got the basics covered with you newbies. So before I get to pressing play, I just want to quickly say another thank you. Thank you, thank you to all of my members at Asha Media Club and to my subscribers here on this channel for your wonderful comments, your productive and uh, resourceful comments related to my uh, reaction to the gag reels and the funny videos and to my rankings of the episodes of season one. I really, really appreciate it. But now I am on to another chapter, right? I got 14 more seasons to go. So let's not waste any more time and let's get to watching. Alrighty, so if you're new here, listen up for a little bit. I'm just going to cover with you the overall process of how I do my watch-alongs. And of course, if you're not new, you know what I'm going to say. Skip ahead. I'll see you at the countdown or at the review. All right, newbie. Okay, so I am streaming my episodes of SPN from Amazon Prime Video. I line up at 0000. I never skip the recap. I never skip the recap, even if it's repetitive. I just like them, okay? Okay. Um, so on the screen, you'll see a visual cue for when I press play, pause, and rewind. And I tend to pause for three main reasons. Number one, lagging, buffering issues. Number two, I want to pause for looking at a scene, uh, checking it out, or to rewind back, which I'll let you know if it's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and so forth and so on. And number three reason that I'll pause is to have a commentary moment with you and kind of a tete-a-tete -tete with my viewer, um, especially if it's a mind-blowing scene or it's information that I'm really kind of afraid I'm going to forget during the review part of the uh, video. So that's pretty much it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, let's do it, let's do it. Let's watch episode one of season two. All right. We are counting down to play season two, episode one, titled In My Time of Dying. So, yeah, let's find out what the hell that means. <laughs> so excited, so excited. Okay, three, two, one, play. By the way, thanks for the clarification that that wasn't the guy in the truck. Oh, god damn. Oh, and we're getting the original music apparently too, right? As of now? All right, that's good. And don't get mad at me if I don't recognize like 99% of the songs. It's like I know the tunes, but I never know the title. It's a cool recap. No name demon. <laughs> All the children like you. So we're going to see uh, a 
a bunch of other people in powers. I ain't screaming this time! <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a completely different guy. I guess when I saw it so fast, it just looked like him. Maybe it was the mustache or something. Shit, are they all... Ah, oh, nope. I was about to say dead, but Sam just gulped. Yo, he's gonna... Really? That's interesting. So the demon would rather leave than take a chance of getting that bullet. Wow. No. What the? Unresponsive, okay. So Dean's still alive. Ugh, the suspense of this is gonna dr whoa, whoa, whoa. Not drag on. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Wow, it's freaking quick. Well, I guess they gotta move forward, right? Because, I mean, you can't drag on the whole thing of whether they're dead or not. Okay, that makes sense. Like, nobody notices them walking the fucking hallways. It's a nice hospital. <laughs> it's probably not shot in one, but... How's he walking, though? Like, he had a huge wound in his gut. Hello? Oh. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, ignore him much. What is going on? I don't know how I would not suspect that. Well, there wasn't much to suspect, to be honest, except for the gut thing and how he's walking all normal. Oh, it's like goes like the movie. So he has to try to get back into his body? In my time of dying, how that fits now. Wow. <laughs> Ghost whispering. All right, so the dad's alive, okay.
This is a good time for his psychic powers to kick in, though, somehow. Oh, wow, Dad's, like, really awake. Shit. He got most of the brunt of the impact. Okay. <laughs> really? He says the same thing? But... Yeah. It's a little soon still to ask. So is the dad into witchcraft now, too? Yeah. Oh, no, no. You do. You do. There's no fucking way he knows all this shit and he doesn't have an idea what that means. Give me a break. I don't believe that. Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah. You see? I mean, obviously he acted it. Obviously, for me to be doubtful. Ooh. Yeah, like, look at the impact. The dad would have been crushed. I second that. Okay. <laughs> well, technically, Dean should make that decision anyway, so just leave the car. What is this? What is John thinking? His face is so stoic.
question of the fucking century, it seems. Okay, I forgot, like, if he's in Ghost World, other ghosts would be there. Jesus. I hate how I jump scare so easily, but I know it's entertaining for some of you. Right. They're gonna hear you, Dean. Oh, so it's a ghost in the hospital just killing people randomly? Salmon's a fucking haircut. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just like the movie! <laughs> he said it, he said it, he said it. <laughs> oh my god, it's too meta. Yo, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this? This is not from the movie. Oh. Oh, whoa. Jump onto it. Jump onto it. Attack it. Mother. Wait, did he just hear that? Okay, I'm gonna pause. What I'm at one five one three because it looked like as if Sam heard him or recognized something. Okay, let's go back ten seconds, twenty seconds. Yeah, see right there. Um. Okay, let me just kind of go thirty seconds here. Okay, right there, perfect. So I'm at one four four three. And let's count down to play. Three, two, one, play. Yeah. He sensed something. That ghost looks like, um, the dreaded, uh, characters from Matrix 2. <laughs> I don't remember their names. So Sam probably heard a remnant of his voice or something? Or maybe he just felt something. Let's see. It's 
still hunting, even when he's, uh, he's a ghost. Jeez, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, he senses something. His uh, psychic powers are kicking in. Yeah, another ghost. Yeah. Hey, white shirt, blue PJs, bottom. Huh. Interesting. They need to have a moment where somebody walks through them. All right, like the movie. <laughs> it's more like a nightmare. You did, girl. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong, Yanni. It is. Don't tell him. Yeah, keep it vague. Okay. I love JDM, but the character of John is a little bit sketchy sometimes. Her eyes are so pretty. I agree with you, Dean. We have nothing but the fate we make. Yo, this ghost. What are you going to do now? So this ghost just goes after people who are like right on the verge of death? Ah, mystical talking. What's it say? Box? Hey man, this is your way to talk to him though! I hope it works. <laughs> this will be really fun. Is that a real branded thing or they just made that one for the show? Come 
Come on, Dean. Let's do it. <gasps> Can you make it work? I like how they're making this very simple, though. Just, like, straightforward connection here. Reaper. So that's a different kind of Reaper now. Hmm. Yeah, it's just doing its job. Think, buddy, think. What? Dude just up and left? Of course he did. What is he doing in the boiler room? He's gonna summon the demon in the boiler room? All right, I just gotta trust he knows what he's doing. Why would he leave his journal behind like that? Oh wait, or did Sam get it from, I don't know. What? I, I totally missed that. Uh, do I want to rewind? Huh? Oh, she's a reaper? Oh. Wow. Hmm. 
And say what exactly? Yeah. Are you serious? She's here to like literally coax him into dying. This is kind of weird. Like, uh, I think. All right, I don't want to jump scare. <laughs> oh my gosh. He obviously ain't that dumb. Deal with the devil? Whoa. Okay, sorry. All right, pause. 2834. I need a breather. Hmm. Okay. Daddy just made a deal or was about to make a deal with, uh, I'm going to call him, I, I was calling him Boss Demon. So, boss demon, because I don't think that's supposed to be, like, the devil, the devil. Um, or Satan, whatever. Uh, until they say it is, it's boss demon. Alright, so he's about to make a deal. And I'm scared what that deal is going to be. And I wonder if that deal is going to involve saving Dean. But in exchange for what? Oh my god. What is he going to exchange? Himself? Like, take his life? Oh, oh my god. If the dad fucking does that, I swear I'm gonna lose it. Um, and now we have here this Reaper trying to convince Dean to die. So the Reaper can fulfill its purpose of reaping death. Okay, alright, I just needed that break. <laughs> sort that out for myself. Let's go. Three, two, one, play. Uh.
So she she's waiting for stage five. Yes, he is. Oh, damn. So he's a devil. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Don't get greedy. Oh, are you serious? That's a greedy ass devil. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, he knows what that means.
possesses reapers? Mm, more like a demon. Devil. Gosh, what did the father give up? Hmm. Yeah, like saving Dean in probably the worst way. Yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of it. True that. What did this man give up? He did something drastic. He's acting weird. Shit, is it the fucking yellow-eyed demon possessing him? Again, and pretending? Yeah, he's suspicious too! What did he do? I'm going to be crying now. Ugh. Oh my god, what did you do? Did you... He traded himself somehow, did he? He's obviously saying goodbye. What? No, what is this? What is this? What? 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 Oh my god, what is this?
Like, seriously? This is one prediction I kind of didn't want to get right. But they made it so much the case of it to be obviously that path for him. Done. All right. Um. Man! Takeaways. Review. Coming up. <laughs> I think this is one of the first times kind of being right on something because it doesn't happen often for me. But the one kind of time I, you know, saw that coming in a way, because they made it kind of obvious, but at the same time I was kind of doubtful it would be that obvious. It doesn't feel good. I like it when it feels good. Because, like I said, I rarely get theories, plot theories right. And so, this is one time I could say that, damn it, I wish I was wrong! <laughs> Duh! Okay, well, I have a lot of questions, but I know they'll be answered, so I, I'm not expecting you, obviously, to tell me spoilers. So let me just dive into aspects of this episode that confused me, that I didn't like, and end off with my positive bang, as usual, with stuff that I enjoyed, because there was a lot of that, of course. Now, in terms of anything that actually confused me about the in the episode, um, it's stuff that I know would have to be explained later on, so I'm not even going to dive in there because I think confusion is kind of part of the whole thing with me <laughs> and the series that I've never watched before. So, you know, we'll let that out of the way. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that's confusing that I should understand within this episode. Um, not off the bat, because I'm just kind of still thinking about the ending there, but uh, maybe it'll come to me as I keep talking. Okay. Let's now talk about stuff that I really liked about this episode. Uh, number one, a different type of Reaper now. Um, if you watched my reaction to uh, episode 12, yes, I'm remembering my episodes. I'm trying to do that, actually. Especially after doing my ranking and everything, you know. Um, so episode 12 called Faith, and that's when I was introduced to a Reaper that I'm not used to seeing. Like, the, 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 the personification was of an old-looking, twisted-looking face man. And this time, the Reaper decides to take on the form of a pretty girl. And I really, really thought that was cool. And outside of her form, the actual form was uh, different as well. So that was kind of neat, seeing another type of Reaper. And um, if memory serves, and I could be wrong, please correct me. I think there was five types of Reapers. I don't remember. So let me know. And uh, this is number two. So I hope to see the next... Two, three, four, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, Reapers that they showed from episode 12. And the next thing that I really loved about this episode was seeing this yellow-eyed demon come back again. So from what I'm understanding thus far, based on some of the explanations uh, many of you have given me, thank you very much, by the way, um, there's a variety of demons, right? They have different categories. And so this is now my first... Uh, understanding that this is a type of devil and devil is a is a noun right so anybody can be a devil however is it the identity of the satan known in the christian bible that's what i want to know i don't think so i think that this is perhaps you know like there, there's satan and there's those right under satan and that is like big bad boss demons like I think this one. I think this is one of those demons that's like higher up right before you'd be the ultimate Satan, right? Assuming they're going on the Christian-based or Judeo-Christian-based uh, faith of things, which I think they are, right? So I enjoyed, of course, seeing this particular being come back incarnate in another body and, of course, performed through a fantastic actor and seeing it interact with um, John and then making that greedy deal, very greedy. I mean, John was giving it the weapon that could kill it. 
what else do you want? And then he convinces John to give him his life force or whatever it seems, right? His soul. I'm assuming it's his soul, right? That goes along with demon stuff. Um, taking his soul and the cult for Dean's life. Like, that's a shitty ass bargain. And I think John should have said no. I mean, what if John did say no? What's he, what's he going to do, right? John held the gun anyway. The cult is the one thing it was after. It was literally giving them hell to get to that cult. It went through so much. And I think John had an opportunity to be like, no, nah, you're getting a gun. Give my son back his life. And that's that. So the fact that John got convinced to give up his soul or his life, whatever, as an extra part of the deal, I think is dumb. So I guess that's part of one of the things that I didn't like of the episode. <laughs> it's like, I liked seeing the yellow eyed demon come back, but I don't like the greedy deal. So yes, that's a dislike of this episode, the greedy deal, <laughs> the devil greedy deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the last takeaway from this episode is definitely the meta references to the movie Ghost and the fact that Dean even says a line to uh, connect with, you know, my acknowledgement of that. And when he was like, I just swayzied that thing. Oh my gosh, I almost lost my mind. <laughs> if you watched my reaction, you know what I'm talking about. The movie Ghost is one of my all time favorite paranormal type movies. I watched it when I was really, really young. Um, that's when I fell in love, actually, with the craft of acting, especially through the performance of Whoopi Goldberg. And um, I've watched that movie, what, maybe 10 times now over the years. It's a family favorite for me. And so I was even more disappointed with myself that I didn't even recognize that Dean was a ghost at the beginning. Um, because I kind of think there were clues there, but I just didn't pick up on it because I was just so focused on the fact like, oh, Dean's alive, Dean's alive, because I love Dean, right? I'm Dean for life, people. I'm Dean for life. But nonetheless, it was cool to see those meta references from one of the best movies about the world of ghosts. So if you haven't seen Ghosts, go and check it out. And I apologize if some of my outbursts about it has spoiled the movie for you. I can't go back and edit that in uh, my reaction because it's a, you know, a recorded reaction. <laughs> so my apologies if somehow my outbursts about it spoiled the movie. So, yeah, sorry. In any case, overall, this has been a fantastic season premiere of the second season. The only thing, of course, is that JDM is officially out of the picture. <laughs> like, I was so hopeful. Now, considering the nature of this show, and it's called Supernatural, maybe JDM now is going to play a supernatural version of John, because I could see that coming, right? This whole show is about ghosts and shit, so I could see JDM reappearing to play a ghost version of himself, maybe, depending on the kind of deal he made with the devil. Like, did he make a deal to take his soul and go to hell? Because <laughs> that would fucking suck. Um, but then he can come back and haunt his boys. Oh my God. Did he friggin make a deal to come to go as a demon? In hell? Like an evil spirit? No. I don't think they would do that in a show like this. Like that would be just too much, right? Because I mean, you can't have them lose him like that. Well, then again, there are 14 fucking seasons of this series, so... Any spin around with JDM as John could be crazy for me. I guess I'll wait and see. I'm just not even going to go into the theory world of that right now. The point is, JDM's gone for now. I'm just going to make my peace with that and be delightfully surprised with any appearance of uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan as John at any point. And now just get ready for the ride with Dean and Sam going on their hunt without their father to kill this fucking demon, this boss demon, this devil, whatever. I hope we at least get a damn name for him at some point, instead of just calling him Yellow Eyes. <laughs> so there you have it, people. That is my reaction and my review of episode one of the second season of Supernatural. If you enjoyed this video, you know you can show me by following the prompt you see, right? I know you see, I know you see it. Follow it. Thank you so much for watching and until episode two of the second season, 
I'm Asha, tuning out. Peace. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe. You know you wanna.